Hey guys, this is Danny with Pwn CNC, and today um, is part two of my laser uh, FL690 laser uh, walkthrough or whatnot. Um, setting this thing up so I can get to my first burn. What I've got here is a, looks like a 102.3 watt laser tube. It's really hard to see, but you'll get a close up here in just a minute. I'm going to install this. This is the first step. Um, once you've got the machine all cleaned up and all that. So uh, let's uh, jump into it, shall we? All right, so here we are with a close-up of the, uh, the back of the machine. Um, since my machine isn't really moving all that, all that much, and I've got a garage door right there that actually is pretty cold outside, um, I am just going to uh, position the tube, get it all installed, and then simply roll it around. It's not, it doesn't have very, very far to go. So what I've got is I've got my back lifted up. Um, here on the side, I've already removed the side panel. This will allow me to slide the four foot laser tube into the machine. Um, first step we're gonna need to do is remove our bracketing here. Set all that aside. I've got a water tubes. Um, looks like one is the uh, input. The water is going to come in. And then, of course, I understand the output is actually up on top. So this other tube here is for the out. We've got our positive line. And over here, running along the side, is our negative line. So we're not going to play with that just yet. I'm going to grab the tube, bring it over, and we can take a look. All right, so you guys can take a look here. I have the uh, tube here. I put on some uh, latex gloves just to make sure there's no uh, uh, fingerprints or anything like that that might come on the outside. I don't know, if the, don't know if that is important or not, but just to be safe, might as well. So I've got a RECI RECI or RECI um, CO2 laser uh, rated at, uh, agreement power is 90 watts. So. From what I understand is the ground is over here. This is not exposed. Over here on the other side, we have the actual, we have a, lay, a rubber grommet here. I believe this is where the, um, where the uh, positive goes in. The plastic will cover that up to protect it from, from, being, from hindering you. We've got a water inlet valve over here and looks like a water outlet valve over here. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this guy in. And the water outlet is supposed to be up. So it's basically going to sit in the machine like this with the up out here, down here. So slide this guy in nice and gentle like. Set it on the frame just so I can grab in there. There we go. So it's now both on, on both frames. Now water outlet pointing up. Put the laser in here. All right, here we are with our tube. Um, I've got it sitting in there. I don't have it in its final position yet. What we're going to do is hook up our wiring first before we go too far. Now, I found out that it doesn't really matter how far um, you go with it, just so long as these uh, support stickers, you know, it's somewhere near um, your bracketing. So yeah, doesn't need to go that far. The outlet, the water outlet does need to be up. So that's one of the most important things. So I've got a Phillips head screwdriver here, and I'm going to install the ground wire first. So I'm going to unscrew that a little bit, take our ground wire, slide that in here, and tighten that down. All right, here we are with the, uh, I poked out the laser out the, uh, out the side of the machine here. I'm going to remove the The cover, the protective cover, and of course that exposes our screw. 
I do have the unit um, straight up, so our screw right there is right there on top. This is the positive side, so I'm going to loosen that up a little. I'm going to find my power cord. Here it is. There we go. So this comes in. I'm going to send it down to the back side. So on this far side, or on this, I guess on the front side of the machine, we're going to bring it in and right into position. I'm going to give it a little bit of an angle for our cap there to slide on. Okay. We'll slide our cap on. just to keep it all protected. Looks like we're good. I think we can slide the whole tube in now. Now, our tubing is, our lines are in, so I'm gonna take my water tubing here and hook that right into the end there. All right, so here we are on the far side. You can see the entire tube is in, in place. I've got my water tube, um, my positive, got my negative. Now we're gonna hook up the water outlet line all right there we go we've got a water line our outlet line outlet is up the inlet is on the bottom got it all hooked up now we're ready to uh actually clamp everything in place so the strips uh, the support strips i've got them in here i've got them perfectly um i've got them aligned left to right um so that they're as centered as possible compared to the clamps. I'm going to bring my bracket in here just underneath. To tighten down the screws all the way, or at least 90 percent down, um, so it has a good tight grip on the uh, tube on that side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now again, you can probably tell here is the spring um, which gives it some tension to hold on to. So, put that down. All right, that is in place. Now, the only thing left to do is put our side panel back on. Very simple. Got my favorite drill here on a very low torque setting, so I won't strip anything. Hey guys, um, got the tube installed, um, the water line, the inlet, the outlet, the positive, or the positive, the negative, um, side panels all together, got my zip tie back on, and we're ready to move on to the next step. Um, check back with me on my, uh, on the next video, and we'll talk about the chiller filling up with distilled water. So if you're following along, make sure you have on this uh, particular model, um, three gallons of distilled water ready and available. Um, I believe it only takes two, but there's no reason it's water, so just have some extras. But uh, yeah, check back with me later, and all, as always, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.